Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're working more on my RPG Maker MZ project. I worked on this earlier today while I was out at a coffee shop and I made some progress. Maybe not a lot of progress, but I made some. I filled in the park area. I filled in the the yards. Where are you chasing cat? Good lord. Oh, bug. Okay. Well, good boy. But you're not getting any more treats. I didn't finish this, though. Because we had to go because they were closing early. For, like, a private event or something. Which is not a big deal. But... I got all of this done, except for down here, and I also added a pathway to, oh, I didn't finish that, oh well, no big deal, I can just do that right there. I also added a path, a fenced off path, to a gate and into an exit for future maps as well. <laughs> I love cats. Having fun little boy? Did you get it? I know I heard a fly earlier so it could be the fly that he got. I hope it was. But yeah that's the progress I made. I considered making a path from like here somewhere over up and over to here but it is it didn't look right to me no, don't do that. <clears throat> I don't have any more projects I'm working on besides this. But yeah, I mean, I could add maybe some tall grass in here. Not this one, but like maybe like spots here and there. But it, there's just really not enough room for that. I don't, I don't think unless I do like maybe this. And then maybe like I I could do that I guess, but mm, yeah I guess I could. It wouldn't hurt honestly. Have it yeah have it in down here, but then up top here whenever I do the same thing, have it be um clean cut grass and no actual like tall unkept grass. Yeah, I guess I... Actually, no, you know what? Hold on. I, I can just do this. I can just fill it in. It'll be easier than trying to fight it. Yeah, that makes things easier than trying to draw, up, draw it myself. Wait, hold on. I covered something up. I did. Okay. And it does basically what I want anyway. Yeah, it does what I want. Yeah, this will work. Okay, cool. And I know I did not record this as promised. I tend to never do that, I'm sorry, but I have been watching a ton of One Piece English dub and I am almost caught up with the English dub. I'm like 30 episodes away from where America is currently. No, I'm not going to watch the Japanese dub because I started watching it in English. And that's what I prefer, is the English dub. <clears throat> I'm currently on, if you've never seen One Piece, I recommend it in spoilers. If you've, but I'm currently on the um, Kaido fight. So again, spoilers. And I'm waiting for that to end. It is a grand fight too. Holy crap, what a fight. My goodness.
that one is filled in this one is not however being a, like I said I'm enjoying One Piece I looked into one of the video games for One Piece and the current one that's out like the world I think it's is it World Odyssey hold on I think it is let me check you know yeah it's Odyssey yeah One Piece Odyssey I considered buying that but it basically just covers content from the anime it's not its own storyline so there's really no point in buying it at all like why buy the game when you can just watch the anime instead if it's the same content from the anime there's no point in buying it like at all that's just my opinion maybe I'm wrong maybe it has other content besides the anime content but from what I've seen from the pictures and the videos that I've seen on Steam all it has is anime content like stuff that's like marine forwards and it's like that's some old content that's before the new world even why would I bother buying it again maybe I'm wrong I don't know but to me it's just it doesn't make sense to have that. If you're gonna make a video game, why not have a custom storyline for it? Like, I don't know. Weird. Actually, you know what I could do? I can just do this too. Honestly, because I mean it is a park, but I still want. Yeah, no, I won't do that. Honestly, I'll just do that for now. Leave it like that. Yeah. How many more do I have? Gotta finish that one, which is not a big deal. That's all I have left. Cool. I need to put um fountains in here. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Alright, so I need, I need to do this real quick. So if I put it in full screen mode, which I'm going to, so I don't know if I don't know if that will work when I deploy the game. I don't know. I've never actually deployed before for MZ. I don't know how that works for this iteration of RPG Maker. I know how it works for VX Ace. Well, VX. But I don't know how it works for MZ. I've never tried it. So I'm going to make an ass out of you and me. I want to assume that if I go into the database and I change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 in the in the database that whenever I go to deploy the game that it will change the resolution to that and not just for my end which is the the developer side Again, that's why I said ass out of you and me, or assume. Again, I don't know. I've never deployed before, so I've only deployed with VX. And VX, you can't change the resolution unless you use a script. And if you use a script, it's technically not full screen. All it really does is stretch this the screen and it gives you black bars on the side, which gross. Who wants that junk? I know I don't. Um Hmm. 
So I'm gonna go based off of that logic. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few fountains down if I have the graphics for it. Oh yeah, that's right. I just did that because yeah, those are just generic ones. That's right. Those ones are. Eh? Okay, so that one, the first one is. Oh yeah, prison guards. Yeah, because I might use those later on. That's why I have them as damaged or dead. Or the first one can be they're in a bed sleeping. The second one can be them. Well, so I can zoom in on these, but I can't. Yeah, the first one can be them in a bed sleeping. The second one can be them dead on their back. And then the third one can be them dead on their stomach. Or should I say, unalived. I ain't gonna say that shit, I'm sorry. I wanna say the correct term, dead. Because that's what it is, it's dead. And if you're offended by the word dead, grow the fuck up, I'm sorry. Like seriously, grow the fuck up. Do I have fountains? Do I have like an actual fountain that I can use? Hmm. I don't see one. Unless I have this stuff. I mean, this is water, obviously. But I want an actual fountain. <clears throat> like a fountain icon with the water coming up. But I'm not seeing one. Which is unfortunate. And there's not one in here because I've browsed the tile sets over and over again. Um, other, yeah, so there's no actual like physical fountain event tile or tile set, which is unfortunate. Fudge, that's just a big pepperoni pizza. Treasure chests, crystals, which doors, flames, traps. This is just call these traps. Yeah, I, I, you know what? This, I can just rename that to traps. Okay, you're okay. I don't, I don't need that one or that one. Well, I don't need. Well, I guess I could use that one maybe. But yes, I don't have an actual fountain icon to use with a fountain, which is unfortunate. So I need to. I need to. Improvise or jerry rig it, or as the old timers would say, I ain't gonna say the word, but you know what I mean. Uh, what can I use to improvise? I mean, if I could use those and have them hidden, I would. Especially the purple whale. Or whatever the heck that is.
Um, if I could, hmm. I mean, I could use that. I could put that one oh, no. out. It might not be. Hmm. No, that wouldn't work. Actually, no, would it? Hold on. It depends. Would it work? Let's find out. No, so it needs to go up one. But will it work the way I want it to? No, it does not work. Bummer. Um, what can I use as a pedestal? Do I really not have a fountain icon at all? Like whatsoever. I hate how small this is. I really do. Yeah, I don't see one. Stairs, ladders, rope, vines, street lights, tents, holes in the walls, signs, bridges, windows, flora, pathing stuff, signs. I don't see a fountain. And of course you got that as well. I wonder if there's a fountain. Hold on, I'm curious now, hold on. I wonder. Was it be in that area? Of the stuff. I'm actually curious. Was it be over here? I went outside. Was it be over here? See some cars, street lamp, trees. I like those trees better than what I'm using now, but oh well, it is what it is. Is that Fig Ben? There is fountains there. Why are they there and not in a medieval one? I would not consider those sci-fi at all. I would not consider fountains to be sci-fi at all. Like whatsoever. Those are in the wrong place. I'm sorry. Because they, they had fountains back then. I guarantee it. They had a, They had a water fountain back then. I guarantee it. Maybe I'm wrong on that. And actually, you know what? Me no. no. I can't spell. Fudge. Um.
Yeah, no, they did. They totally did. Yeah. So, again, I could use those, but they're in the wrong tile set. I'm sure I could even use Big Ben, but wrong tile set. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck it, duck and screw kangaroo. Bummer. Well, I can't use those because they're in the wrong tile set. Because I want medieval, not sci-fi. And there's no point in pulling the sci-fi tile sets for certain things when like 99% of it is completely useless to me. There's no point. So I have to improvise with fountains. So I'll just delete this and then I will pretend that the actual fountain base is submerged in the water because whoever made the tile sets forgot to implement fountains in both. Or they didn't do research. I don't know which. And it freaking sucks big fat nuggets, but it is what it is. So copy and pasta, 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 and pasta. Done. Fountains are done. That's all I can do, really. Because there are no proper fountains for medieval side of things. Was it stupid? Now I'm sure I can go buy a medieval tile set, and it might and it might have what I need, but then it might not have everything that I need. So it's not worth going to buy one from Steam, wasting money on it, using it for two hours. Well for more than two hours to find out oh it does not have this and then not being able to refund it it's not worth it I'm sorry so before you go in the comments and say oh you can just go buy a a, a DLC tile set there's no point because it may not have everything that I want where the base one has basically everything I want. I just now found out that I need a fountain and it does not have one. Is it a big deal? No. I can improvise. Sure, I could add in the sci fi tile set, but is it worth it? No. Because 99% of those tiles from that icon set would be useless to me. So there's no point. <clears throat> there's no point at all. And I run the same risk when I buy a tile set. That tile set I buy, yes, it might have what I need. But I run the same risk of it, one, not fitting in with what I'm currently using. And two the tile set I buy not having everything I actually need where the one that comes with the program has everything I need and it and three it's a waste of money to buy a tile set when I can use what's already there for free now if I knew how to make my own tile sets I would I would totally do it if I knew how to do that. If I had the patience and the knowledge, I would do it. Or if I could hire someone to do it, I would. But I don't have that kind of money to do that. Or the patience or the knowledge to do that myself. And I honestly don't mind using the base tile sets either. I really don't. They're awesome.
So, there's nothing wrong with them at all. They have what I need. They work. Uh, let's see here. So that is done. I could add more to it, however. Like, do I have frogs? Um, no. I, ooh, I wonder. Hold on. Um, fog of war? No, thank you. If I was making a, um, if I was making a, um, Fire Emblem style game, maybe I would consider that, but I'm not. Because if I want to make a Fire Emblem game, I'm not going to use RPG Maker. I'm, I'm not going to. I already know what I want to use. Something that has more consistent updates, like twice a month or more. And it's still being updated to this day. And it's getting free content added all the time versus RPG Maker where you gotta pay for it. And it's actually it's an engine that is built for making a game like Fire Emblem. Where unfortunately RPG Maker is not because the developers don't want to do that. Despite the fan base wanting wanting them to do that. The devs say no. Which is stupid on their part. But whatever. It is what it is. Um, I think it's this. <gasps> they do exist. Eh, that looks more like the... Those look... I don't like the red eyes. They look evil. No thanks. <laughs> I could do that. I mean, okay, I'm not going to actually use this because these may not be free to use. Yeah, that one was on the actual website, so I can't use it. Plus, none of these really fit with the current art that I'm using. Okay, if I could use this bad boy, I totally would. <gasps> I found a frog. <laughs> I found a frog. <laughs> I found him again. I found him again. <laughs> I want that game remade in modern graphics. But they gotta fix the damn Magus fight. Oh my god. <laughs> that fight sucks ass. <laughs> yeah, so we don't have a frog. And I'm not gonna get one through illegal means either. I don't wanna run that risk of getting, um, you know. A copyright strike or whatever. So I don't want to run that risk, and it's not worth it. But do I have? Hold on, hold on. I wonder. Do I have frog enemies? <gasps> Ooh. Hold on now. F. F for frogs. F for frogs. Do I have frogs? I don't have frogs. No! Damn it! That counts as a frog. We have frogs. We're good. We have frogs. I'm going to consider the Kappa a frog. I don't care. Actually, you know what? Yeah. We have frogs. It, it's fine. Actually, can I walk on this water? I'm curious. 
Okay, you cannot walk on this water. That's good to know. Plus, you can't get in there anyway. But we have frogs. That's all that matters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 31 events, by the way. This is nothing. This is nothing. We're going to have a lot. This This entire city that I'm working on right now is going to be full of NPCs. So imagine the event list when it's done. It's going to be just full of NPCs. If the engine can handle it. If this, the, if the playtest can handle it with no lag. Oh my god. <sighs> it's going to be amazing. Trust me. And I, th and if you thought Cyberpunk was amazing with all of its NPCs, whew, if this works, this will, this will hopefully have more NPCs than that game does. And that in Cyberpunk was wonderful, despite its flaws. I loved it. I loved that game. I'm looking forward to a sequel if they make one. And I hope they do. <clears throat> I need to name all of these fountains or I'll, f or I'll forget what they are. Uh, I gotta switch these around because of reasons. I didn't switch them around because engine is stupid and ridiculously idiotic. Mm, this is a, is it a pond? Yes. Pond Fountain 1. I know I copied it. I found the bug. I found a bug. I found a fucking bug. You gotta fix it, devs, please. You gotta fix your shit, please, developers. Because your shit is busted. Oh, but you won't because you're too busy working on Unite instead. When Unite is a busted piece of shit because it is made in Unity. And that is the worst fucking engine to ever use for any game. And we all know it. You know it. I know it. The entire world knows it. If you want to, honestly, honestly, you know what what they, what they should do, and I'm sorry I've said it before, scrap Unite and just rebuild it in Unreal. Like, why not? Re scrap the whole Unite project for what it is now. Cancel their deal with Unity. Rebuild Unite in Unreal Engine. And then, and then hear me out. Hear me out now. Here's the kicker. We get gra we get assets, what you see here, to work with. But when we go to play the game, that's when Unreal takes over and converts it into its own assets. That would be fucking amazing. Oh. I can see it now. Oh. And you can turn that on or off too. With a simple click of a button. In the um options menu. Or well hold on. In the tools. Yeah right here. You can. In here. In this options menu. Do you want Unreal Engine to transfer what you see here currently into its own 3D rendering of the game. 
that way if your PC cannot handle it, you can still play test it. And it will render it as regular RPG Maker, but in Unreal Engine. That's fucking genius. They should do that instead. Forget Unity. Go with Unreal. Oh, that's freaking genius. I love that idea. They should do that instead. Because of Unity's past blunders fuck unity and go with the best engine ever was his unreal engine unreal 5 oh dude haha <laughs> that oh my god that would be so nice that would be amazing it wouldn't matter what tile set you used either. Like, because it would, because Unreal would take over and it's, oh my god. They could have fun with that actually. That would be amazing if they actually did that. I would, I would love that. That's a great idea. Hey devs, if you're if you watch this, do it. Scrap your idea with Unity or Unite and make a deal with Unreal Engine. And take my idea and run with it. I don't care. Think of how easy it would be to make 3D games then using RPG Maker. Think about it. You make a game in 2D and then whenever you are done with it it renders it in 3D using Unreal Engine. Oh, that would be so nice. It would make games game making would be would be would become a hell of a lot easier for everyone then. We could get we could get the Outer Scrolls six or seven in like two years time then. Think about it. Bethesda could scrap Creation Engine finally. Switch over to RPG Maker Unreal or whatever the title is of it. Make Outer Scroll 7 or whatever in 2D and then have Unreal Engine convert that into glorious real real life 3D graphics. Oh, that would be so freaking sweet. That would I that would actually make triple A games come out faster. If it worked, we would get triple A games faster than what we do now. Because they claim, oh, it takes 10 years. Bullshit. Bullshit. Look at the current game, Life is Strange. The last game they made came out three years ago. And they're going to release a new one, like this year. I would honestly consider Life is Strange triple A quality. I would. And triple A studios are, are claiming it takes 10 years. Bullshit. If it takes indie studios 2-3 to three years to make a game and they sell way better than your shit does you're doing something wrong. I'm sorry. You're doing something way wrong. I mean, granted, I've been working on my game for twenty years now, off and on. 
I've not really been too invested in it until now. Because it's been more like a hobby versus me actually wanting to focus on it and get it done. Which is why I'm recording it for YouTube. So I can actually force myself to get it done. And as a tutorial for all of you as well. Granted I'm mostly drawing maps. But there are people out there who want to see that. And once I get to the actual eventing process, that's when stuff will get interesting. Because I know how to do some of it, but none of the, like, heavy stuff. Like, the biggest event I've ever made was, was it on VX Ace or was it on VX? It was on VX Ace. And it was, no, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was on VX Ace, and it was five pages long. And that took me, by myself, I think two weeks to finish. I think. It's been a while. I have done some eventing on MZ before. I made a um a random item thing before and I got that to actually work properly but I don't have that anymore and I might bring that back in this game too because honestly it makes sense the only problem with that event is I can't make enemies drop random items. I can only make them drop the item that has the event that gives you a random item. So you then have to open that item or that treasure chest over and over again, which gets tedious. But that's the only way I know of how to do it. If I knew how to make the enemies give a random item upon their death, I would totally do that. And I'm looking forward to trying to figure that out while recording this. For you guys to also learn how to do that. If you guys have not figured it out already. <clears throat> Alright, enough rambling. Let's get back to... Actually working on this. And seeing where I need to improve this. I might add... Something my eyeball. Eh. I hit the microphone, sorry. I'm trying to get my eyeball cleaned out because there's something in it. I might add more grass to this. I don't know though. Because I mean, walking in the map will be pretty. Come over here and then save changes. I mean, hmm. I may not because if I can have a ton of NPCs down, I don't think it'll really matter. Because then there'll be a ton of NPCs for you to talk to, to get quests from. Which I've mentioned this before with the questing in my game. You will not have a quest marker bubble above the NPC's head. If you want to do a quest, you will have to hunt for the NPCs 
with quests. Even the main story quests. You will have to hunt for the NPCs. And there's going to be a ton of NPCs. I hope. I hope I can get it to work. That's my goal. That is my 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 dream. My goal. I know those are not working right now. I know. I need to turn those on. These are placeholders. And I know those fountains are not working, but I can turn them on to work. And one more thing. Those fountains, whenever I turn them on, the more NPCs I have, those actually count as NPCs. Technically. And actually, I need to move those ones over one more space. Yeah, I... No, I need to move... Yeah, those ones right there. I need to move these ones over. Over to here. Yeah. See the grid? That line right there? That's the grid. That's how you tell. Same for... Here. That's the grid. For the grass, you can't really tell, but... I mean... Eh. Yes, I need to move those over, which I can easily do. It's not that hard. One... One... And one. Done. So those are moved over now. Yeah, like I said, as I was saying before, before I noticed the offset fountains, the fountains are also NPCs. So, with all the talkable NPCs walking around, the NPCs that are stationary and actually have a animation like the fountains or fire or whatever else I might add in, even the ones that will be set to invisible, those are technically on the map, even though they're invisible, and they more than likely will bog down the game and cause frame loss. So, if I'm not able to do what I want to do and have more NPCs than Cyberpunk, because of that, I'm okay with it. I don't care at all. That's acceptable because RPG Maker has limitations and I'm okay with that. Actually, I wonder, is there a limit on how many Is there a event limit? Oh, hold on now, I'm curious. Uh, limitations. This is for the database, not the actual events. What is that called again? Hold on. Does this have an actual name over here? Um, event list, events. Is there a limit on how much I can have? I hope not. Looking for any numbers. I don't 
don't see any numbers besides here. I don't see any. Okay, so let's try... Let's try this. I was looking something up for that. And Bard did not know. Even though there is something for that cannot be destroyed. Apparently, the smartass AI did not know. There may not be, but I forgot if there was or not. Nine hundred ninety nine events. Okay. So imagine that many NPCs walking around on a map. If that's the truth. But you really can't get that far because the map size limit is 256 by 256. So that times two. It's only that many events total. So imagine 512 NPCs or roughly that amount walking around on a map. That's a lot. So there is an actual limit. It's based on the map size. That explains it. Actually, no, it's not even that. Is it times two? What, or is it just two fifty six? No, it's just two fifty six. Yeah, no. So the limit is two hundred fifty six. So imagine that many NPCs walking on the map at one time or thereabouts that many at one time <clears throat> actually you know what I could do 